reach for the stars. Rhode Island's 2022 Statewide Self-Advocacy Conference. About Me Boxes. Presented by members of the 2022 Leadership Series class. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi. Everybody see the screen? Yes. Ah, yes. oh, very good. Very good. We're hoping to get a really good recording of this initial part that we're going to share. So uh, make sure once Kelly is ready to start talking about the PowerPoint, which is very, very brief because we want to get to sharing the boxes, um, that everybody's on mute. I can't see anybody. can't even mute myself because I just blocked all the controls. So I'm going to mute myself now. So Karen, you just let, or Kelly, you let me know when you're ready to go to the next slide or whatever. And, um, and I'll be here clicking for you, okay? Okay. All right, I think we can get started now, huh? What is an about me box? An about me box is just what it sounds like. It's a box or it can be a bag or any other type of container that is filled with things that tell your story. It's all about you. What if you wanted to tell someone who you are by showing them items in a box? With this activity, that's exactly what you can do. Karen? Why should you fill in an about me box? Here's a few reasons. Have you ever been frustrated because you wanted to say something, tell a friend about your recent vacation, describe your new job or share how you felt about a new song? You might know what you want to say, but somehow you just couldn't seem to capture it all in words. This activity will help. Someone once said that a picture is worth a thousand words. That's what an About Me box is all about. And it will help you do as you find objects, images, music, other items to tell people about yourself. This activity is also about sharing information with others in a way they can understand. In other words, it's a lesson in accessibility. Being able to translate big ideas into something that's simple and easy to understand is an important leadership skill. Successful leaders empower others, and that begins with helping them know what's going on. How do you fill an about me box? It's as easy as one, two, three. One, answer some questions about yourself. Two, choose and decorate your container. Three, fill your box. So think about some, think about how you'd answer the following questions and what you can put in your box to re represent what you want to share. For example, where do you call home? Do you live in an apartment, a house, or something else? Where is it? How do you spend your time? Do you have a job? Go to school? Volunteer? Who is in your circle of friends? What, who do you hang out with because you want to, not just because you live or work together? What is one thing that you're really good at? We all have different skills in our own unique gifts to share with others. What's one of yours? Share something you've done that makes you feel proud. Give yourself a great big pat on the back and let others know why. What else would you like to share about yourself? What kinds of things do you want others to know about who you are and how you want to live your life? Choose and decorate your container. We call this an about me box, but you can pick whatever type of container you want. Be creative, avoid anything breakable. Try to find something that's easy to carry around and represents part of who you are and what you enjoy. If you don't know what type of container to use, rest assured there's no wrong answer. Some people have also used a plain cardboard box that they decorated with stickers, magazine cutouts, paint, gift wrap, and more. The possibilities are endless. Have fun. Fill your box. Pick different things that represent your answers to questions in step one. These can include objects, pictures, music, food, different scents, and things that have a particular texture, such as sandpaper, cotton, or even a few fluffy duck feathers. The idea is to use items that will help you share things about yourself using more than just words. Share your box. Once you have everything assembled, practice using your box to introduce yourself and share your story with others. 
As you're sharing, look for things you have in common with the people you're introducing yourself to. For example, if you use the cat toy to talk about your fur baby, ask your audience who else has a cat. If you have a menu from your favorite restaurant in it, use it to find out if anyone else likes to eat there. Remember, your About Me box is a work in progress. That means you can change the container, swap the contents, or add new items whenever you want because your life changes, and it's about you. I do that a lot. Great job, Excellent guys. presentation. Yeah, that was Thank good. You. Yeah, nice job. So uh, please keep your cameras on and your sound muted so we can see everyone's lovely face and um, we can hear the presenters without any interruptions. And uh, there'll be time after they finish for, for questions and, and discussion. Or, uh, so the presenter will start We'll start by saying testing one, two, three. Can you hear me okay? And then they'll pause and say, hello, my name is Karen or Ellie. And then present the items in your box. And when you're finished, you ask, does anyone have any questions? Okay. Ellie, are you ready to get started? Yep. Okay, super. Test, test. One, two, three, can everybody hear me? Okay, if I can, um, there's one quote I would like to share before I share my box. And that quote is, a stream that meets the boulder halfway through the wood. That's like a life quote because all of us people are the stream, the boulders, the obstacles, and halfway through the wood is life. Uh, so for my box, as you could tell, you would think that my life revolves around anime. Wrong. Not only does it involve anime, but I also have a Funko Pop of Aizawa in his sleeping bag that I got from FYE, which is amazing. I also have a Stitch tank top on. And since I'm huge into Disney, Simba T.Y., or tie. Some movie, some Disney movies like Halloween Town, Ty, and a Disney Mickey ornament that my mom had made with her own hands. I also make keychains, like for example, Jack Skellington. I also did Oogie Boogie, pet anime, of course. <laughs> and a pop print with a heart. Any questions or comments? Is Mystical like the name of a rapper or name of your cat or? Uh, Mystical is the name of a cat. Yes, oh, Christian. And the, um, the X figure you got, is, is who, what kind, of, what kind of anime character is that again? Because I've never seen that one before. This character? Yeah. Uh, his name is Shota Aizawa. He is from the My Hero Academia. Oh, that that's really cool because, like I said, I I know a little bit about anime, but I don't want. I mean, I never seen those kind of things. You know, huh? you know and things. That's really cool, Ellie. So, Ellie, you probably can't see because you're on your phone. Um, but Kim Einloth has a question, and also Christian. So. Kim. Hi, hi, Ellie. This is Kim. I don't have a question. I just want to say that. Uh -huh. Your About Me box is really cool. Thank you for sharing it. No problem. And Christian? I don't really have a question either, but I will say this, that, that probably the three of us have something in common. Me and my sister, and obviously you, are, like my sister loves Stitch as much as I do. So, and and, and I love anime so much. And there Steve? Is another, there is another, um, Stitch thing I have, and that is a bathroom. I have a stitch bathroom. Uh, <laughs> Lee and Steve, you got something to say? Yeah, that was uh, really great stuff, Elle. Um, Did you say that you made those keychains? I did, yes. Wow, how do you do that? I have a, well, I use the Cindy's the Cricket Machine. Mm. Oh, wow, that's really great. <laughs> wow. And that cuts out shapes. Is that what the cricket machine does? I think so. 
after the character or whatever design that I print out from the Cricut, I go from there and put it on the keychain. Awesome. Yeah. She was breaking up a little, but I think that if I'm understanding correctly, the Cricut machine prints out the um, the actual picture. And then I think they sell the keychains, right? And you put the picture in there into the keychain. Am I right about that? Was I hearing that correctly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Mm. And you sell those, <laughs> Ellie, right? I do, yeah. Yeah. So if anybody needs anything, you know, a little I'll plug for your business. One cool so cool love that really cool ellie i i also love the quote that you read in the beginning and um who was that by or maybe you could re maybe you could say it one more time because i i just really loved it i actually got that from a song that i listened to um it's by voice play and they did it some songs from Wicked. Great, thank you. Now I can look for it. <laughs> any more questions or comments? Looks like I don't see anyone with their hand up. Is Well, thank you so much for sharing. And I hope you have a wonderful trip. I'm a little jealous you're going camping, but maybe we'll hear about it in the next week or two when you're back. And I think our next presenter is Christian. Woo. Test, test. Can anyone hear me? I hear. Okay, good. So, well, actually, the first thing I'm going to start with first is the bag itself, because it's a part, part of me. Because on the bag, I like sharks. My pen pal made it for me all the way in London. It, I'm not sure if anyone can see it, but it might be hard to see the red, but it says Christian loves sharks, which is which is true. And in and one of the things I pulled out from my bag is the business card from the salon that I like to go to. It's called North Main. It's one of my favorite salons. <laughs> and let me. And in my bag, I also love to do some crafts. I like to make pom poms. They make good little fidget toys. And good cat toys for anyone who has a pet or something and needs something to play around with. And I also knit these cool ear warmers. I'm also starting to make wrist warmers that will actually be good to keep the snow out of your arms when you're shoveling. And for some anime, I got my anime trivia book. I also like to watch this series. So here's one of them called Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Thought it was supposed to be like one of those books where you write the questions, but I'm not complaining. I can play around with my friends on this one. And I have a few, I have like four DVDs of, of my interest. Like I like gargoyles. So I went with Rise of the Gargoyles. And, and just to make sure I don't forget, they're all from Amazon. I also love anything related to Ariel Stein, like Goosebumps or The Haunting Hour. And kaiju monster movies like Godzilla, Tokyo SOS, one of my favorites. <clears throat> and any reptile movies like Komodo, with all the cool things. Look, things. And <laughs> that's all I have for my, for my in my bag, except for this keychain that I won from the claw machine. But that's about it. Any comments or questions, Ellie? Okay, I love how the fact that you and me both have also similar co in, uh, common thing as well with Gargoyles, because there's a Disney show called Gargoyles, and I loved the movie R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour. That was an amazing movie. <laughs> well, this one is actually called R.L. Stein's Haunting Hour, I Don't Think About It. One of my favorites. That's the movie I saw. <laughs> well, that's sweet. Any more comments or questions? Yeah, Christian, I have to agree with Ellen. That that was really cool, but especially when you were talking about the Josh shirt you had, like, wow, oh, that is really cool, man. Well, Joseph, um, uh, correction, um, this is not a this is not Jaws. It's a, oh. it's a it's a three headed shark. Oh, oh like, wow, I have that's really cool. 
Yeah, because you could definitely tell that like um, it's just one body and there are three heads connected. Mm. Yeah, that's like I said, that's really cool, mm -hmm. man. My pen pal deserves most of the credit for making this one. <clears throat> Mark? Yeah, I just want to know if uh, that movie, the movie that you uh, showed everybody, um, mm -hmm. something which, about which one? I'll, uh, I'll pull... The gargoyle, whatever they call it. Rise of the gargoyles. Or is it? No, not that one. Oh, I'm trying to figure out the movie. The you said something about. Uh... Nope. Okay. What is that one? Komodo. Komodo is what? It's a, it's a, it's about a Komodo dragon. The it's about a venomous creature that, about a person, a, a kid. He lost his family, and so his psychiatrist brings him back to the island where the attack first happened. All right. Is there any way impossible, like those four movies do you have, um, you could look up my email and see if you can send those, the words of it, so I could look up on my phone? Hmm. You mean, you mean the name of, of, of each movie I have? Yeah, so I could watch. Hmm. I can, I can type, I can type them, I can type them like on when someone else is speaking I, to you, if, if that will work for you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. I'll make sure to, to remind myself that as soon as we're done if, talking. If right. um, because the chat's gonna go away. So what if I send you both um an email? So then you're connected on email, and then you can email it back to him. Would that work? That's fine yeah. too. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Email. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Kim. What's up? I wanted to just mentioned that I think it's really cool that one of the items in your bag is something that you can do with somebody else. You know, when you were talking about that book, was it an anime book? Oh, you're talking about my Yu Yu Hakusho trivia quiz book. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so great that you have something that you can then share with somebody else and do with somebody else. So thank you for that. No problem. Becky, you're on mute. No, I did by accident. You muted again. Oh, no, I did. I hit by accident. Oh, you hit it by accident. Uh, so it's just a little mistake then. Yeah. I get you. We all make mistakes. I don't know why I keep... Anyone else have any comments or questions? Karen? Yeah, I, I'm Hello. curious how you found your pen pal in London. Okay. Because that's very interesting and cool. He was a shock for me for at first, Karen. I will be honest. I met him on you now. We played like um this card game called Factor Crap. And then after a while, we started getting to know each other from YouTube channel. And then after a while, we started becoming more connected, like a chain. Mm -hmm. And I guess now I thought my real dream was to go to Japan, but now I want to go to London. Because my pen pal offered me a place to stay. Cool. That's... Any other comments or questions from anyone? Going on? Oh, Michael. Wait, how did you win that uh, that thing from the claw machine? How, how did you do that? You, is that strategy? Actually, the keychain was actually in an egg when I was at George's. And then I just, because I was hanging out with one of my friends. We... Oh. <laughs> well, I have a keychain. Huh. I'm actually going to think about like um maybe I'll put this in a giveaway or something in my next YouTube channel of the Christian Show 19. Oh, I see. Uh, maybe I'll subscribe to that. Huh. Maybe Michelle. Michelle can send you an email to my email, and then we, and then you, me, and Mark, we can like um have a discussion. Hmm. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Okay. And Are now you, you got a couple more viewers, Christian. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so any more comments or questions? Jessica, did you have something? I thought I saw a tentative hand. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, um, I wanted to know your son of sharks and like monster movies. Have you seen Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus? Because it's one of my favorite movies. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus? I own the DVD. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my God. So yeah, that's great. I just, I had to tell you about it in case you haven't heard it. I was like, oh my gosh, you'd love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh man. Anyone else? Oh well. 
that was pretty cool. Thank you, Christian. That was great. And I think next is Michael Eddy. Oh, I see your hand up, Michael. Did you have one more question or? <clears throat> no, I, I, uh, <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two. <clears throat> I'm going to share you my own me box. <clears throat> now, I, I know I'm a good photographer and I know I graduated from uh, high school in 2008. And uh, well, let's just say I'm really great at editing and stuff like that, but I have my very own me box <laughs> filled with all the things I like throughout my life. Now, let me, let me show you some things. If I can get them out. <sighs> ah, this is a wall clock I just made. I was at Outsider Collective and, and Pat from, out, from OC taught, taught me how to paint the wall clock. All in imaginary. I don't know where I'm gonna put it though, but uh, my parents and I will figure it out somehow. And also, I have this uh, word search. Sometimes I like doing word searches whenever I have nothing to do or when there's no power or or anything else handy. And I got uh, a lo a load of pa paper lined lined paper loads of them and uh, so yeah I, I i like writing sometimes I, I even have a pencil like this and uh, and a sharpener i always keep a spare sharpener in that case uh, my pencil breaks or something like that well i'm not well uh, if the pointing thing gets loose so, so I sometimes I write and draw on paper. So that's all that works. And I have this uh, my name tag from Newport Creamery. I, I used to work at Newport Creamery until they uh, laid me off because business wasn't doing too good. Oh, I miss doing that, but things have changed. You know, just gotta get used to it. As Rebecca used to say, I gotta go with the flow, and that's what I did. I also have a Mario from, from the Super Mario video games. I, sometimes I play the Super Mario video games from the, from the video game consoles like Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo GameCube, and N64. Oh, those were the good old days. <laughs> and I have this, uh, my uh, name tag from uh, the Rhode Island Blood Center. I used to volunteer there. I, I, uh, I used to... Um, um, I used to put stickers on the uh, cards every time, and I really miss doing that also. And last but not least, my carrying case that holds a camera. <laughs> I've been taking photographs all the time. I, I've gotten it from uh, back in 2021 for my, uh, for my 32nd birthday. And I'm really say I'm really good with nature videos and nature photography and stuff like that. So there you have it. That's about my life and my me box. Do you have any questions? I just want to say that you and I have something in common. We both play the Nintendo 64. I like old school video games. Yeah, so do I, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, oh, Leah, Steve? I, that was some really great stuff. I, I just was, um, I didn't really get a good look at the clock that you had painted. Oh, uh, yeah. If you could hold that up again. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, let me show you. It's uh, This has a happy face on it with flowers. <laughs> Not all clocks have happy pieces and flowers. <laughs> well, so, I know it, it, was, like it could be on Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was a project. <laughs> so, again, I don't know where I'm going to hang this, but it's really nice. Awesome. All right. Kelly? Um, I'm sorry that you got laid off from Newport Creamery, but um, who's Rebecca and which Newport Creamery did you work at? Oh, uh, I, I used to work at the Newport Creamery in, uh, well, first in North Kingstown, then uh, in Barrington. Oh, I, I love Barrington. Um, I used to frequent, I- Really? Pandemic, we used to, me and my friends used to frequent the place a lot. So I don't, you might've seen me there before a long time ago oh and, i did um, not Luther know Be that yeah i very rarely go there these days but oh. um 
But yeah, who's your who's Rebecca? Uh, huh? Rebecca, who says go with the flow? Oh, my uh, my old staff from the RHD. Gotcha. I have her email, so uh, I I I um uh, I emailed to her at any time. So uh, uh, it's not like I miss her, but uh, I, I miss her in person. But I always get the chat via email. Well, All Mike, right. you said you you have that Mario um from the classic Mario thing. Um, well, well, it's more like a figurine of some sort. Yeah, like um, do you? Do you collect them every so often? Not really. I just, uh, just, I just keep that for memory. Oh, nice. Yeah, just like Sonic. And I even have the Cy Sonic Encyclopedia book. Yeah. All right. Any other qu questions or comments? Michael, I was just going to say, I don't. One thing I would add to your about me box is your amazing singing voice. I don't know how you put that in there, but but you have go and care. You have a gift uh, for music. Uh, it's 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 really. Yeah, and I have a gift for winning the prize earlier, the raffle <laughs> prize. You do. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, you got something to say? Any questions? Um, I wanted to ask what kind of things you write about. That is awesome, and I, I think it's a really cool hobby to have. Well, I, uh, as I mentioned, I do have a camera for filming photography and uh, filming footages like birds, mostly birds, uh, and other nature animals. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is Calypso. She's also part of the conference today. <laughs> Calypso? Yeah, like the sea witch from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I I see. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so, uh, any other questions or comments? No? I guess that's it. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Michael. No, you're welcome. Can I just intervene here to say to Jessica that Calypso looked nothing like your cat, though? Like, really nothing like that. No. Oh. <laughs> well, the last cat I have was Scout, but... Oh, that's a good name for a cat. Yeah, well, he died a long time ago. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a thing with pets. They don't live long enough. No. But yeah. hey, yo, at least it's watching. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Eh, well, easy come, easy go. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks again, Michael. Uh, you're welcome. And I think I think that Joe is next. And Joe, if you if you can remember, after you say introduce yourself and say testing one, two, three. If you can take a, a giant pause so that when they go to edit or do something, you're you're separated from the testing. That would be great. Okay. Thank you. You're on, Joe. Testing one, two, three. Can anyone hear me? All right. Well, I'm here to tell you about what I got my about. So I'm here to start with um I like to read books, so I got this book about one wrestlers because I'm also a wrestling fan. Um, also, I like to play video games, so I, I got this video game of Spider Man. Uh, what else? Um, oh, I also got this newspaper that tells about our victory in the Golden Seattle. Fucker. Um, I also like to watch movies, so I'm, I'm also got wrestling. And I like to write in journals, so I got two different journals, one from Power Ranger, another one journal from sports. Um, I also like to read and listen to music, so I listen to music on CD player. Um, I also got this, the war from, from Unified Sport during my high school years playing volleyball. I also like to show pictures, so that's a picture of my, you know, of my 
of Tommy, the Green Ranger, when he was, you know, doing his, like, um, filming. And also, I have other pictures from, this is a picture I, um, they took when I went to see, um, with my friends, the uh, send-off party for the USA games that I went to. And also, I like to keep track of stuff, so I have this iPad that helps me keep track, like, if there's a meeting or some, um, if I have stuff I have to do around the house, I just write, I, you know, just put it in my thing and then they tell me to keep track. I also um got this medal from the U from the games I just came back from. Um, I also like to play um games, so I got Uno or like play with my friends. And I also like Disney, so I got two classic Disney movies in, in a video game, and I also like the Avengers, so I have that. And I also have this necklace from one of the wrestlers I went to see. And last thing I got, oh, actually I got something else. I also got this tape uh, from Captain America. Absolutely. But, um, I also got this hat that shows the reminder of the games I came back from. So, any, want to have any questions? Christian? I'm just curious. Like, um, when you mentioned you were in Unified Volleyball, it surprised me. By any chance, it wouldn't be having to be at Barbell High School, would it? Uh, no. The one I got was from Socket High School. Oh. Oh, okay. Because, because yeah, like, but I did play against Barbell before. Ah, uh, I get you. It's just that I'm I'm actually was the original transition first transition student as a unified president. That's why I was curious. Oh, oh, nice, Michael. Thanks. Oh, uh, uh, did I miss anything, to, to, Joseph? Did, oh, yeah. What did I miss? Mm, mm, not that. I was just that. Uh, yeah, your hand. Oh, I see you have the see. um uh, Disney Aladdin Lion King. Uh, oh yeah, video that, game yeah. From but a different con for for a different console. I have the one from yeah, Nintendo it's for, Switch. Yeah, it's for PlayStation Four. Yeah, the PS Four. I don't have that. I only have the Nintendo Switch. Oh hey. Yo, hey, like that, that. hey, you got, hey, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so Kelly? glad you won the medal. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, are you originally from Massachusetts or where are you from initially? Um, I originally played. I originally I used to play for the state of Brown, but um, now I play for the state of Massachusetts. Oh, okay. So you're from Massachusetts, Rhode Island, but you moved to Massachusetts. Yeah, are you. I used to live in, um, I was from Maine, but then I moved to Massachusetts, and then I moved to Rhode Island, so it's basically a, it's gotcha. wherever. New England states. Yeah. Now Mark. you're in Massachusetts. That's all that matters. Yep. Mark? I can't hear you. Mark, you're on mute. There you go. Oh, oh you took it off. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <Big quote. laughs> um, I uh, just had a uh, question for you. Um, now, you said something about the wrestler. Yeah, I got um this necklace. It's from Seamus. Shaman? Yep. Huh. Yeah, because uh, I went to um, Providence to see uh, was it Triple H and all everybody. And oh, that that's cool. I've yeah, been there numerous times, Mark. But so. I lost a video of it because I took a video of it. I yeah, it. I, I've been to that. I've been to the numerous times in my life, Mark. So you're not the only one who you know been to that place. Well, the Iron Iron the Giant, whatever the guy's name is, the first one that passed away. I yeah. I know him when I was little, a long time ago. Uh, yeah, they the things really changed with those guys. Oh yeah. Just to let you guys know it's two oh six. Michelle? Yeah, so I just want you, we have a few more minutes, so we're doing great because I think that was our last presenter from the leadership series, right? So if we kind of ended here, I think we had enough time for, am I right about that, Karen? Yeah, that's what yeah. I have written down and then. Okay, good. Well, that was perfect that time. I needed them. Too. Yes, but I wanted to comment on Joe's box because Joe, I think I have more in common with you than probably anyone else so far because, you know, the Disney, the Marvel, I was loving it all. But I have a question for you. Your favorite Marvel character. Oh, oh, oh I mean, I was super. Oh, this guy, 
That is the Marvel tricky. ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just saying that's that's really tricky. It has to be either between Spider-Man, Captain America, or Thor. I hear that. Yes. Yeah, so if you had like, to pick one, wouldn't it be Captain America, do you think? <laughs> I, I, it would be, but I have to say Thor's pretty good with that hammer. And he has a new movie coming out this summer. Yay. Oh, that, oh that's yeah. cool. So, yeah, I'll have to get your take on that when you watch it. So, yeah. Yeah. And also, I just wanted to say that kind of like what Karen said about uh, Michael putting his singing voice in the box. I don't know how you can do it, but if you can put your kindness and encouraging ways into the box, that would be huh. awesome. Because <laughs> you are so yeah. encouraging to everybody. And I that somehow should be in your box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mark, you got something oh. to say? Oh, you got something? Go ahead, Mark. Well, I'm just saying you don't need a cardboard box. You already got a voice box right now. Yeah. yeah. So everything that you, you know, you oh, do like singing and stuff like that. Just Mark do is it. a jokester. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just, you know, yeah. Like a jack in a box. Like Pop a that music out of your throat. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. That's it. Exactly. You never know what happens if you don't I mean if you give up, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, just don't break it. Yeah. Um, Jessica, you have something to say? Oh, no, I was just laughing at the comment from Mark. I thought that was really funny. Oh. <laughs> I your box a lot. I, I am a big fan of Disney, and the Lion King game is really hard, so I think yeah. it's yeah. really cool that you play it because I can't get past, like, level two. Oh, geez. I, <laughs> yeah, Jessica, I play a lot more video games than, than you would think. Between wrestling games, Sonic, you know, the Marvel game, the Disney game, I'm playing more video games than it. Please. <laughs> Oh, the only other one in my family that played more than me is my brother, but me, I'm mostly, you know, I, you know, before thing, I'm playing video games every so often. That's awesome. I'm terrible at them, so I admire people that are good at them. That's really a, a skill that I don't have. Yeah. Anyone else have any questions or comments? Kelly? But yeah, they um they made in the nineties they when they made the Lion King game they made it unfairly hard like kids couldn't even beat it like it's notably hard. Have you been able to beat the Lion King game? Uh, Kelly, let's just say I you know I have to agree. I'm even so for someone who plays a lot of video games sometimes I don't always get it. Okay, so that's a yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's really tricky. Um, so anyone else have any questions or comments? Well, it was. Okay, cool. I'll send it back to Michelle. Thank you. That was Joseph. awesome, Joe. And this is perfect timing because Deb's about to close the rooms. So if you guys want to click the um, little blue button in the corner of your screen that says leave room, it's going to bring you back to the main session where we're going to hear the song from Mark, Mark Cutler and his gang. So, yeah. All right. Great. Thanks yeah, for thank you. Us. Thank yeah, you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Visit our website at the link below to watch this recording again, along with other About Me box recordings from this year's class and previous Leadership Series graduates. While you're there, you'll also find instructions for creating your own About Me box and additional resources to help you speak up and share your story with others. These and other materials are available for download free of charge from the Advocates in Action website. About Me Boxes with the 2022 Leadership Series. www.advocatesinaction.org slash 2022 breakout 4-2 Produced by Advocates in Action Rhode Island. Copyright 2022.